Hi, I'm Dr. Deborah Garrison with Jake, and we have some important information we'd like to share with you. Hi, Tori. Good to see you. How's college going? Oh, I love it. Oh, good. I'm studying like a bear, but my uh, grades are quite respectable. Good. I'm taking a class right now that deals with public health, mm -hmm. and I was really surprised when my professor mentioned that veterinarians are the only doctors trained to deal with the health problems of animals as well as people. I always thought of vets as just cat and dog doctors. Well, believe me, you're not alone in thinking that way, and it's somewhat sad. Veterinarians truly are on the front lines of protecting the health of animals and people. That's exactly why I'm here today. Mm. I have a paper I need to write for my class, and okay. it deals with zoonotic diseases in dogs. I was hoping maybe you could give me some background information. Mm. It'd be my pleasure. Okay. Let's see, number one, a zoonotic disease is a disease that could be transmitted from animals to people. Think of leptospirosis. And then there's also diseases they can share, like rabies. Dr. B, what is leptospirosis, and what are some other diseases people could contract? Well, leptospirosis is a bacterial infection that people can get when they have contact with infected urine from a dog or other wild animals. Okay. And we've all gone camping and heard the warning, don't drink the water until you've purified it. That's to protect us from that single cell organism known as Giardia. But it's not just when you're camping that you have to be concerned. Even suburban pets and people can be at risk when your dog drinks water from an infected puddle. Now, a person can contract Giardia by handling some type of an object that's been in contact with infected dog feces. Okay. And then ticks, they can spread diseases from dogs to people. Ehrlichiosis is a disease, Lyme disease is now in all 50 states, and even Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Wow, it seems like with all these zoonotic diseases people can get from their dogs, Sounds like it'd be safer just not to have a dog. Not at all. Having a dog is really very safe. You just need to practice some preventive measures. For instance, wash your hands frequently. When you've been out and about during the day with your dog, come back, check yourself all over and your dog for ticks. If you find them, remove them quickly, remove them safely. If you're ever bitten or scratched, clean it up well and seek medical attention. Also, take your dog to the veterinarian at least twice a year for a good wellness exam. Keep it free of internal as well as external parasites and keep it appropriately vaccinated. All right, thank you. You're welcome. If you're concerned with zoonotic diseases, your dog's and your family's health, just ask your veterinarian. So college is Thank you for watching our video. Please take a moment to visit our websites, Dr. Deborah Garrison at the Treshwick Veterinary Clinic, loveyourdog.com, loveyourcat.com, tvet.com, mypetcaretv.com, and petdocsoncall.com. Thank you, and we wish you and your pet a happy and long life.